uh, practices this fall? Uh, I think everybody looks pretty good. Uh, we're moving where we just picked up where we left off in spring. Just going over the calls, everybody getting reps, just getting comfortable. How comfortable are you now, you know, in your second year going through all this? Uh, I feel pretty comfortable. I'm just focusing on like, the like super details, like knowing what other positions do. So I know where my help's at, and just lining up every time, being consistent. Who's a guy that you kind of relied on maybe when you first got here, asked questions to help you figure out things a little bit? Uh, I definitely asked Blaylock a lot. I had Mo Osley and the older guys kind of helped me. Kenny Church, and they pointed me in the right direction. I had Will. I was supposed to high school with Will, so they all kind of pointed me in the direction. Kirkwood kind of told me. So that just helped. I had great coaches, so it's kind of easy. You got uh, Cody Whitfield now handling the uh, corners. Uh, how's that going, and what have you been your impressions of him and how he teaches? Uh, I love uh, Coach Cody. He shows us techniques and just really focuses on being consistent and having a great attitude and just being consistent and knowing what you're supposed to do, how you're supposed to do it, what intent you're supposed to have. So it's great to just have somebody just on you and just make you focus. How's the uh, competition in the cornerback room going and, and how do you balance that with also you know being supportive of each other and all that? Uh, it's just great competition because we all kind of know each other and we're all together and it's just you see somebody make a play, you cheer, and it's just like, all right, now I need to make a play. So it's just, we just keep going back and forth, and it just makes everybody better. With going against guys like J. Mike and Kyle Ford, is that is it an iron sharpens iron situation where you guys know you have to kind of step it up a little bit going against guys like that? Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun because it's just they're all time, different receivers, but they're all good. So each time you just work a different technique or you just get a different look, but you know it's a real look. So it's like, kind of reminds me of modern day in practice. Looking back on last season um, when, and looking ahead to this next season, is there anything in particular you guys as a you know as a secondary and especially as a pass defense are looking to really key in on it and make an improvement? Uh, definitely just no deep balls, more turnovers. Just like really showing everybody we're one of the best secondaries. We have them like have the deepest we think. What is this point in camp kind of like considering like you don't have to worry about summer classes right now. You don't have to worry about fall classes coming up. You can focus just on football. So how does that make a difference for you? How do you take advantage of that? Uh, just more film study, more recovery, just time to focus more on football and just learn everything you can before school and everything starts back up. Do you find that you've been spending more time on recovery like as your career goes on? It's becoming like a bigger thing. Oh, definitely. Like, the more you get into this, you learn, like, your body is more important than anything. So you spend the more time towards it, find out things you like and routines you do. So it just helps. Thinking back to the spring, you know, we saw you kind of going back and forth with some of the receivers, um, especially toward the end of spring. Uh, where do you find that balance, you know, uh, switching on football mode and then, uh, you know, kind of turning it off? Uh, you know, we just got those guys out from different schools. So it was just <laughs> fun just to, like, kind of test the waters with them see what they're going to do. And uh, they responded, and we just got back and forth, and it just made us closer. And it just shows, like, when we play other people, we don't really got to hold back. We just got. Um, Dante Moore is, you know, coming as a freshman with so much confidence and, like, kind of a swagger about him. Is there anybody on the defense who kind of has a similar, like, confidence, swagger type attitude? Uh, definitely Darius. Uh, I think Coach Noren got him. Like, he definitely instilled some of him in him. And he's his own person anyway, so it's just a great mix. And he has his own thing going. He always got the ankle tape and no sleeves. <laughs> he's just going. Do you find yourself feeding off of Ken Norton's energy? I mean, I know he's not your position coach, but you can't help but hear him. <laughs> oh, yeah, he definitely helps. He's just yelling. Or if we're kind of slacking or anybody slacking, just hearing his voice, you know, it's just time to go or just do something. <laughs> when you're playing corner, do you have to have kind of this uh... – I wouldn't call it irrational, but like this belief in yourself, like even because you're, you know, a bunch of times, you know, a guy might beat you, but then you have to have this like short memory. Do you have to have like just a tremendous amount of belief in yourself? Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, but Coach Chip and uh, Cody have been working on a lot of us is just like working on Debbie, like deep breathing and breathing. It's kind of like just if you make a mistake or something, just take a deep breath, kind of focus on the next step, clear your mind. So it helps a lot.